Sigmund Freud is the founder of psychoanalysis. Not many know that he was also a compulsive collector, and one of his passions was Chinese culture. Freud's London house is set to showcase his art collection. Here's now a report. A jade table screen, pair of glasses, and some Chinese figurines. These are a few of Freud's prized possessions, delicately displayed on his desk. One where Freud worked and met patients. Freud's London apartment is flooded with Chinese art. The centerpiece being this jade screen. It's symbolic of long life. The screen is closely related to Freud's escape from Nazi-occupied Austria. It was his friend Marie Bonaparte uh, who smuggled the two uh, precious small objects from the centre of his desk. She smuggled them out of the apartment um, in Vienna, more or less under the eyes of Nazi guards who are standing on the staircase. Freud and his daughter fled Vienna in 1938. This following the Nazi Germany's annexation of Austria. Freud found refuge in London. His collection eventually made it to the British capital and the jade screen was back on Freud's desk. Antiquities, ashtrays and cigars amongst many other items. Freud's China fascination even influenced his choice of names for his four-legged friends. The dogs themselves are a breed of dog, the Chow, that Europeans at the time very much think of as being Chinese. Um, and so he gives them names that sound, they're not actual Chinese names, they're not real Chinese words, um, but they're names that sound to the European ear like they might be Chinese, names like Lun. And Freud was an obsessive collector of items. Classical Roman, Greek and ancient Egyptian art. These are the most extensive collections he owned. His smaller collection of Chinese art was never fully explored until now. The exhibition, Freud and China, runs from 12th February till 26th June 2022. Location, Freud's house in London, now known as the Freud Museum. Bureau report, we on World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.